Hi everyone, Mark Kwok here. Today I wanna to talk about something that I think some of you guys might think is tone deaf, but I thought I'd just share with you because this is how I feel. Basically, I wanna talk about three things that I love that I've way overspent on, but still am happy that I own. As in things that really aren't worth the money, to be frank, like the value you get is, is questionable but I just know that I love them and I want to keep those things for the long haul. So sometimes with things, uh, it's about the utility, right? You, you get like a pair of scissors, you need to cut something, you don't have to spend that much, most things will be able to, most scissors will be able to cut through things just fine. But then past utility, then there's other things that start to come in play, like aesthetic value, right? Like does it look good? And that, that adds to the price or what have you. History sometimes comes into that. So if something is an icon, it's the thing that everyone thinks about and they, the brand is there also. And these are just intangibles. They have nothing to do actually with the utility of the object. But the truth is we're human beings and sometimes th those things matter. And so I do wanna walk through three items that give me all of that. And I'm not just paying for the utility of it, but I'm paying for kind of everything alongside it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is sunglasses. And what I'm talking about here are Oliver People's sunglasses. So I own two pairs of Oliver People's sunglasses. These are it. This is the Daddy B. I've had these for a long time. Actually, I've, I've lost them and I've rebought them. And then these are the Cary Grants. Oliver People's is, I think, even though it's owned by Luxottica, it's kind of seen as the top of its game. I don't know why that's the case. I think it's just, they've done a great job of branding. They have incredible stores. They're really expensive and limited and celebrities wear them. I don't know, I, who knows the real reason, but I do know that every single time I put on a pair of Oliver Peoples, the design is incredible. The quality is quite great and I just feel good in them. It's a good sign when other brands like Barton Pereira, which is a high-end brand, or Garrett Lay, which is also another high-end brand, like their claim to fame is that they were working at Oliver Peoples or they created Oliver Peoples or whatever before. I will tell you right now, when it comes to quality and look and all this sort of stuff, this is simply a commodity. Like the truth is you can get probably the exact same quality for less than half the price. I struggle with this because that means I'm kind of getting gypped, right? But every single time I put them on, I feel really good that I'm wearing all of our peoples. Uh, I, I do think that these are worth it at the end of the day, if that stuff kind of matters to you or you want to feel a certain way when getting sunglasses. Next up, we've changed locations because we're talking about this bad boy. This is the Neumann U87 microphone. And I know a lot of you guys are probably not into sound here, but I'm a kind of audiophile freak. And when it comes to microphones, this is the king. Like industry standard wise, this is an insanely expensive microphone, but it's also been the standard at like recording studios and things like that for decades. This is yet another thing where I think most people won't be able to actually tell the difference between this and let's say a $200 microphone, you know, $100 microphone even. This thing is a whopping, I think it's like 3000 something dollars, like out of control expensive, but I freaking love this thing. When it comes down to it, because of the history, because of the fact that it's pretty much remained unchanged for decades and it is the microphone, like you just know what you're getting. You're getting the best and it's it's the best for a reason. So the Norman U87 AI, this thing is a beast. It's an incredible microphone. Uh, if you're just looking to just record a podcast, this is not what not. Get a Shure SM7B or SM57. Those will do just fine. Those, in fact, you probably can't even tell, but if you want the best, this is it. All right, number three, the one I'm most regrettably talking about because it is by and far the most expensive out of, out of them all, but a Patek Philippe watch. I think most people will agree that Patek Philippe is kind of the quintessential top brand when it comes to wristwatches. And I don't know how it got to that point. It might be history. It might just be people all agreeing eventually. It could be craftsmanship and quality. But the truth is that you are paying for that name. I mean, this design is great and everything, but you are paying for that name when you buy one of these watches and you're paying up the wazoo. 
So I own this watch. This is an annual calendar, 5396G from Patek Philippe. And um, maybe I'll make a video about this in more of a review, specifically talking about this watch. I personally have a lot of passion towards watches. It's something I've talked about on this channel a lot. And when you have that passion, you put a lot of time, effort, everything into that. So you do want to be associated with the best at some point. And so having a watch like this kind of is a symbol of that. Now you're paying dollars and dollars and dollars to have that symbol. But nevertheless, at the end of the day, if you own like a Patek Philippe, then you feel like you've kind of gone to the top of the, of the mountain. I think it's worth it if you are into watches at one point owning just even a simple Calatrava from Patek Philippe, I think is a goal and something that should be cherished if you're into that passion. But okay, been pretentious for long enough and I apologize again if it seems tone deaf, especially in this economy. Like what is it, what am I even like, telling you guys to do here. I'm not saying go buy these things, all right? I'm just telling you why I love these things. But Oliver Peoples, Neumann, and, and uh, Patek Philippe, these are some things that are way overpriced. You don't need them, but nevertheless, I'm happy that I own them. All right, thanks so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys on the next one.